Hello and welcome to Elementary. Monday evenings at 6. This is where you'll find me. Today my guest is someone you maybe you are familiar with if you watched the show before. And I can't wait to get started. You will be so excited for my guest today. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? World of talent. I'm okay. Hello. I, I feel like I, I see you recently you? for a change. Excellent. Right? right? <laughs> yes, yes. That's it, was, true. it was an adventure. We were up it to no good, but an adventure yes. we had together, yes. <laughs> it was, it definitely <laughs> So yeah, I love the challenge. It was a good, was good adventure. Thank you so much for that. And we got that. We got that property sold real quick. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so I guess we'll get started. We'll introduce you and your Instagram handle. I've been on here. I think got to be like four or five times now, right? We've done this. Yeah. For sure. Yes, yes. That's right. Yeah, that's right. The Instagram handle is at KP Staging and Design. Um, yeah, so Carrie, as, as most of you, if you've been here before, you know that I've interviewed Carrie before. And, um, and I'm glad that she's taken some time today to spend with us this evening. So um, perhaps just um, tell us a little okay. bit about your business Absolutely. and well, your area it, it that you service and, when it <laughs> and your new area. <laughs> um, but, you know, now nowadays, as you know, we kind of go everywhere. We've been, you know, Oshawa. Um, yeah, Oshawa. You know, it, depending, we usually go between an hour, hour and a <laughs> half radius of Brampton. And, um, you know, definitely we've seen a big difference, obviously, as I'm sure you have in the market in the last 10 months as to what we had seen before. So staging is still going on, but maybe not at the same pace it was um, this time last year. So there has been a, a change there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's the start of a year and every time the year starts, <laughs> you never know what uh, a year is going to bring. It could be bring craziness or it could bring, uh, you know, less craziness. Um, but, you know, when you say one and a half hour radius, I, d I just don't want people to get, um, usually you know, within a hundred, on that. And if they were, are looking for someone, I'm, I'm hoping is usually there. Um, they I just mean, give if it's a 106 call. kilometer, you know what I mean? Within within a certain radius, we're, we're usually pretty good. Um, in the winter, sometimes it can be a little bit more challenging, of course. Um, we did a house a couple months back that was in Orillia during a snowstorm. So we, st we still went. We still showed up. We were still on time. But like mm -hmm. I said, you know, it depends on um, the circumstance, you know, surrounding it as well. Like, like you had called me. I think it was the night before we went to Oshawa, you and I, to meet. You know, within a very short period of time, we were able to to plan it and get there and get it done real quick. So, like I said, it you know, it depends, again, on what's going on. Like, if someone calls me with a last-minute stage that's like an hour and a half from here and I have something else that day, you know, sometimes I can't be at two places at once. But, you know, if it's doable, we'll definitely try and do it for sure. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's so crazy because um, when I was looking at the stats for December, right, the, the properties that went on the market in December, actually, it was like 169% more right. properties that went on the market in, for the December. And of course, we only get the stats in, you know, and I'm talking greater Toronto, um, we only get the stats in January. But it's kind of odd when you look at it, right? There's so many properties going on the market. And I was just wondering... Like how much of how much how many yeah. of those properties? Well, got like I staged, said, I don't, I only right? know like from, and, from, and I wish I had those numbers. Us. Like I have my my own based um, agents that I work with, 
Um, like I said, too, I think it's it's kind of a weird time because, too, I think a lot of agents uh, take the winter to do some of their traveling, some of their, their planned holidays and stuff over January. So things definitely haven't been busy market-wise, but I think a lot of agents have also been vacationing in January. So um, staging-wise, I think there, from, from what I gather and information I hear from other people, I feel like it's become too um, – People are feeling like agents can't afford anymore to stage in this market. So that's been interesting, too. Um, there's a lot of agents that feel when the market's slow, they want to pull back a little bit on the extra expenses, and that sometimes can be staging, right? So, you know, it really depends, again, on the listing. But mm-hmm. like I said, you know, staging is always, and it's not just because they do it, But, I mean, it's always, there's not once I've ever left a stage and not felt like, wow, what a difference. Um, I think it's really beneficial for for the home to sell in the first place, but I think it also really helps to get the best price for your clients um, when it looks its best, you know. So, like I said, it's it's all a process. And, um, you know, I I understand when when we are in any sort of – slow pace times, everyone tends to pull back a little bit on their expenses. But I, I think sometimes, and in a lot of cases, I think staging really helps to get that house sold quickly or sold at all sometimes. Because I don't know if you've seen, some houses can be days on market for a really long time. Mm-hmm. And I think that's mm-hmm. where some possibly at the end of their contract not being renewed as the agent for that contract and maybe they go with someone else because the property's been sitting for too long. So, you know, there's pros and cons to staging, not staging. That's with anything. But I think even you saw, like, the day you and I went to Oshawa, that was a big undertaking. And I think within an hour and a half, we were able to to really make an improvement, right? To get <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I actually worked really hard. <laughs> right? But <laughs> this is what... This is what it takes sometimes, you know, yeah. is to, to put the, the blood, sweat, and tears. And I think, too, <laughs> dry throat. I think, too, sometimes agents don't realize the work that does go into staging. Mm-hmm. It's not just me coming in and saying, put this here, put that there. You know, there's an element to helping them clean, gut, hide things, put things away, you know. Like, <laughs> there's um, there's more to it than, than meets the eye, right? And I think you saw that that day. Yeah, so um, so definitely. I mean, for you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer um, that staging d- d- makes a different, it makes a world of difference, right? And um, a lot of times, uh, when it comes down to uh, you know trying to get the homeowners on side, it's a matter of if they will, you know, make the bed the way it is or I mean it's always great when you know if they give you the house for a month and they go on vacation or they go somewhere or something right? it happens for me most of the time I have the owners with me a lot of staging companies will say that they have to get out of the house no one can be home you know but I I don't do that because sometimes I find it more beneficial for them and me if we can kind of work together because then they come home and they don't know where this is or they so sometimes you know it's better for me to be with them and even to reassure them because i think sometimes people feel embarrassed to a degree you know Mm -hmm. of of their stuff and their items and i think it's important for me to be there sometimes to tell them listen every house (laughs) i go to has this you're not the only one that has 50 shampoos in your in your uh tub area you know so like i said you know, I think um, certain agents, like it's different with you and, and a couple of my other agents because you guys will come and, and see the process through kind of with me. You know, um, they don't realize the degree of work that sometimes can go into just clearing their stuff for me to do the stage. Even to get to that point, there's there's a lot that goes on, right? Yeah. And, and that's the reason, I, I mean, I, I would leave you with my clients, no problem. You're amazing. I would. Uh, No problem. Um, But I'm not there to kind of, you know, oversee. I'm just there because I kind of know. um, First of all, it's a level of service I offer. Secondly, I kind of know 
what I'm expecting because I'm already kind of working through that. So, I mean, one of my other stages, I mean, you were really good with the clients. The clients were there and I was like, oh my God, (laughs) like, I, I, I really thought you, all of you would be gone. Um, but, but I was glad they were there because, right. you know, it really made a difference. Um, well, you have to you know, prepare for anything, yeah. anything for oh, the clients yeah. to be there. Sometimes, oh my gosh, I've had, I've had numerous houses where there's a new baby in the house and that baby's in this room sleeping. And then we transfer the baby to that room to get that room. You, you just kind of have to be able to work with them because it's stressful for them on a whole to get their house ready. The last thing they need is someone coming in and, and making it even worse. Right. So I always try my best to work with them, work around situations, come up with ways to get things done quickly for the photos. And, you know, everybody's usually pre- pretty on side with with helping because, I mean, we all have the same goal. And that's to get the house sold. No, absolutely. Well, you know, um, with uh, staging, I mean, I I am definitely uh, a firm believer. I try and encourage my um, clients, I mean, you know, my demographic um, yeah. on my sales tend to be, you know, a bit older and you're, you are absolutely amazing with them. Aww, so thank you. you. Um, Anytime. Yeah. Those, so those are some of my, my, my favorite homes to do because you actually, I don't know about you that day, but when you, we left there, you actually left there feeling like you did something good. Like you, yeah. you helped you genuinely help somebody who was in a, in a tough situation. And I mean, I think too, sometimes with the, with the older people, you know, they all have that thing where they had kids and then their kids moved out and everybody left stuff behind, you know? And now they're faced with, how do I get through this? How, how do I move? They're, they're excited about moving, but the whole process is just so overwhelming to them because They don't know how this is all going to get done. And I think that's what's important is to have the right agent like you who guides them and tells them and then have someone like me who comes in and reassures them that we've seen this a thousand times before and get it done for them so they don't stress so much and hopefully stage it and get it, you know, the highest price that they can get for their home. No, absolutely. So the last one, I want to say that, you know, you jumped in with both feet on <laughs> uh, last minute. I mean, it must have been, you know, meant to be because, of course, yes. you know, you had nothing booked and you were waiting for me to call. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> so I appreciate it. You, you went all the way out to the other end of, uh, you know, <laughs> the city and uh, it was meant to be. It, it was yeah. definitely meant to be. I think I even told you that day. I got on the 401. No traffic. Yeah. None. Yeah. So I said, like, right there, I knew I was meant to come and help you last minute that day because that never happens where the 401 is just clear at at noon. It just, it was perfect. So that definitely was meant to be that day, Jacqueline. No, absolutely. And I'm so glad we could pull it off. I mean, the pictures were fabulous. The house was sold in a day. I mean, the condo was sold in a day. Like, you know, it was like the first showing. I'm so happy. I mean, I was was so happy for you. Oh, my (laughs) goodness. I was happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, well, you know, it all started with me giving tips and saying, hey, let's do this. And, you know, the person was reluctant, right, to bring other people in. Absolutely. And so I was glad that eventually, you know, we did get someone in. We did a professional clean. I mean, there was yeah. lots to do, even when we showed up that morning. I, I <laughs> it didn't end. Um, but, but it was such a great outcome. It and was. you know it makes such a world of difference when the when the place transforms and the client yeah. actually gets to see it and they are like oh my god they're just so amazed they by did, it they, right well that's what i mean in, in a case like that they don't know where to start and now they're at the finish and they're like okay wow that wasn't as bad as i anticipated and i mean that's that's the goal is to make them feel better and not make them feel like oh my god i'm so embarrassed with all my stuff to let them know and sometimes I even take pictures of other people's stuff and I'll show it and, and say see you're not the only one that has you know all this stuff going on everybody has this stuff and not everybody I've said this to you numerous times not everybody has a counter with nothing on it and closets that are per- that's <laughs> not that's not how everybody lives so I think too coming in people figured that we're going to expect 
that. And I think it's important sometimes, and that's why I show pictures, is for them to see that that's not always the case. And look, here's other people who just like you, you know, yes, they have messy closets. This is, this is all normal stuff. Some people, you can't open their garage door because they've got so much stuff. But it's all part of the staging process. And like I said, the end goal is to sell the house for all of us to work together. And most of the time, I've never, in, in as long as I've been doing this, I've never had an issue with anybody not wanting to work to sell their own home. So it's usually pretty, pretty, pretty easy that way. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, I know it's, I, I know the value of staging, but just give us, you know, for people trying to figure out stage or not to stage or not to stage, right? That is the question. Yeah. I I think I think what people need to do when they're making this kind of decision is they need to ask themselves, first of all, do I have photo beautiful furniture or do I have furniture with tears and rips and the kids have colored all over it? Right there is a pretty good indicator that this stuff is going to show in your MLS photos. This is what is going to be seen. You know, um, if you've got a lot of clutter going on, if you have a lot of stuff, if you know that your house, if you wouldn't phone MLS to come right away and take photos, you know that things need to be done. Either hire a stager to help you through it or try and do it the best that you can on your own because whether you do it to prepare your home to have it staged You're going to have to do it regardless when you sell. One way or another, you're going through this stuff. You're going to have to pack it, get rid of it. One way or another, there's no way around it. If you're selling your house and leaving, you have to deal with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, absolutely. Um, The one thing I'll say is that, you know, I think the competition becomes really fierce because there's a lot of agents that do that are discount brokers. And listen, I, you know, you do you, whatever it takes, right? Right. But it makes it hard for agents who want to compete and want to do the best and, you know, love nice branding and want to pay for all this stuff. I, I totally get it. It gets hard, right? Because right. I mean, at the end of the day, this is not a charity organization. Like we, I'll take on a few that I just want to make a difference for, you yeah. know? But I'm not a discount, like, you know, so this is what right. happens because, you know, some people are willing to do a discount and say, oh, no, you don't need to stage it. Your, your property will sell. But for what price? But right. for how quick? You know what I mean? I, I think I think with, with those kind of variables in place, I think that, you know, when I think when I think of discount or I think of doing something rushed or for cheap, I think right there you're you're always losing quality. And I mean in the long run, if if you could just clean up your house and sell it on stage, great. If you staged it and let's just pretend you got an extra fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, then that would have really been worth it. So I think it depends on the agent. Some agents um do the staging um as part of selling the home. Other, uh, I have other personal people call me and say, my agent will not pay for the staging. So we're paying for the staging. And, uh, you know, then I'll go over and do a consultation with them. So it really depends because some agents pay for the staging, some don't. So, again, I, I don't know if that's something that they've worked back on commission or, or how they do it. But, I mean, I think as a, as a successful agent, you should be in control of those types of things. Just because, like I said, if you hire, if some outsider hired a stager for your property and you went to it and it was, it was not good, you have no, uh, no control because it wasn't something that you were a part of. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> so the one thing I'll say is that, you know, I used to do that before with cleaners, right? Like some people would get really defensive. Oh, I have a cleaner. I'm going to have my own cleaner come in. And now I say to them, I'm going to send you a cleaner. You can have your cleaner do whatever, but I'm going to send you a cleaner. Oh, yeah. That way I am happy. Because if not, I'm the one with the broom. I mean, I'm still the one with the broom some days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you with the broom a couple times, right? I, yeah. Well, this is it because people, you don't want to offend people by saying you need a deep, thorough cleaning. 
You just don't need someone to come in and, and give it a quick wipe down. Like, it needs a proper cleaning. And I think, too, you know, it's, it, again, Jacqueline, as it depends on the stage or it depends on the agent. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I'm getting a cold. Yes, or maybe just being on the floor too long um so with home staying on the market a bit longer right um and this this is the part that i'm talking about like you know before you know homes were staying on the market okay fine you stage you you destage now it's staying on the market a bit longer and then it leaves people kind of having to rent for a longer period and you know yeah yeah yeah. for sure but again everything is part of a business like i said just as the agent is part of the business, the stager is part of the furniture is part of the business. You know, they have their monthly charges, and they're not as high as when we first stage. So, the the, the extension process is a lot less. You're you're paying a lot less for how long it's been there. But regardless, even some agents if they just want it for the month, whether it sells or not, the main thing is that you have those photos. Most people you're going to pull in off of those photos and if you know some things aren't there during showings or whatever they still can get a visual sense of what the property looks like just off the photos so like if they didn't want to pay to keep extending or you know that kind of thing there's always a way around a way around something you know so that's that's what we find anyway but like I said, every every business you got to spend money to make money. We we with our furniture constantly are updating our furniture, updating our things, staying current because you have to spend money to make money. And like I said, people don't realize that, but mm-hmm. you know, a, a beautiful brand new couch that from two years ago might not be mm-hmm. in style today. So right there is a loss on our part, right? Mm-hmm. So everything has to be current. People have to be current and. Again, agents, everybody has to spend that little bit extra to make that little bit extra. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, for me, I mean, I mean, I can definitely stage, but I'm a single agent. So, you know, sometimes you have to make sure. I think people are sometimes foolish that way where, you know, they, they're thinking, oh, I can do all this stuff myself. Well, but if you get someone to do it, what's right. your time worth, right? What's your exactly. time that's worth? What, that's what it's all. What's your time worth? And, I mean, I'm pretty honest. Like, I mean, you've called me before and said, Carrie, can you do this? And I'm like, Jacqueline, for this, <laughs> what you would pay, just do this. Instead of hire me, just do this. Because, like I said, if something isn't cost effective, I, I would be the first person to say, you know, yes, you're better off just to do this. Because, I mean, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of this. It's a waste of that to, to go through this whole process, you know, for just something small. You know, I think, like I said, I think a lot of the homes, agents know the second they walk in the door, this house needs staging. Yeah. It's not a debate. It's something you know, especially like, you know, families who have small children, pets, you know, all of these types of things. Of course, you know, they're going to have damage to the walls. They're going to need certain things hidden. They're going to need certain, you know, and that's, that's what we do. It's, I get all of those ones, by the way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Jacqueline, me too, but the, but this is part of what makes it interesting is it's cha- it's a challenge. I did a house a week ago in Brampton, mm-hmm. and um, it was funny because it's a brand new home, maybe maybe nine months, but a lot of wall damage because they have kids. So the 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 guy kept saying to me, "Why are you putting that there?" And I would be like, mm, "Don't worry about it." And he'd be like, ah, <laughs> because I'm hiding the stuff that we don't want in the photos, right? Damage, this kind of thing. You know, not damage to the point yeah. where, you know, it, it, it's going to be crazy. But, I mean, people even say to me a lot of times, we have a lot of nail, nail holes in our home. Everybody's hung pictures. Everybody does. You know, that's part of buying a house. You might have to buy polyfill and fill some of the holes. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, it's my minor, minor things. Yeah. <laughs> We're more Absolutely. worried about the big things that are wrong with the house, right? Yes. So, um, design. Let's talk about design because that's your other element. So, Absolutely. let's talk about design. What are you seeing in 2023? What What are some of the um, trends or 
Actually, it's it's actually kind of interesting. What I'm seeing for uh, a lot of trends coming is back. We're back to color. We're getting Ooh. some color, back, which I'm kind of happy about because um, you know I know a lot of people like everything neutral, everything white, you know, creams, and I I like that too. It's very crisp. It's very clean. Uh, but we're starting to we're starting to get back into color, like a lot of soothing blues, warm earth tones burnt oranges for paint walls. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I'm seeing a lot of soft pinks, soft blues, retro greens. I even saw um, for 2023 a Dusty Rose comeback. Mm-hmm. Remember when Dusty Rose was... Oh, like, yes. <laughs> it, We're dating ourselves. <laughs> it, it's, 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 making it, it's making its way back. So I, I, what I'm seeing, I think, for 2023 is a lot of new with a lot of really, really retro bright colors. That seems to be what everybody's, you know, maybe some some stonework that's neutral with like a burnt mm-hmm. orange couch. You yeah. know, I think that you're going to start to see color coming back. Everything not so, so neutral. Yes, absolutely. Everything and retro, I heard... retro inspired. Yes. Yeah. I think you're going to yes. start seeing that this year. That seems to and be a lot of wood tones. Yes. Yes. A lot, like I said, a lot of burnt oranges, a lot of red browns. You remember, like mm-hmm. that um, toast of New York kind of color. It's like a a burnt uh, brown. All of these kind of things. I think accent walls, that kind of thing. You're going to start seeing in 2023. Still minimalistic, still very clean. Everything very, but with big pops of retro color for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I also um, uh, read that the old farmhouse white sinks and white on white on white is kind of dying a little bit they're getting a little more into I know some people will carry on that trend for a while but you know yeah Yeah, for sure you know I think I think um I think for the last at least 10 years at least you know everybody has jumped on a trend and we've all killed it you know, yeah. we all, I think we all had the farmhouse kitchen. I know I did. And I mean, I took it to the next level. Like if you came in my house, you literally thought I had farm animals for sure, because it was that into it. But like I said, you know, I think, um, I think the, the, the still white trends and stuff like that will be there. Yeah. We're just going to start seeing a little bit more color again, Yeah. yeah. which will be nice. Absolutely. So exciting, right? Eh? I know. So Something to look forward exciting. to. Exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So as we uh, come to the end of our show, yes. what else do you want to share? Do you have anything else you want to share? Or um, maybe tell them that to you. Yeah. Well, um, I'm just, uh, again, we're, uh, we're not slow, but we're not as busy as we were. But uh, right now we have availability for anybody who needs any home staging, again, mm-hmm. in Brampton or the 100-kilometer uh, radius around us. It's KP Staging and Design. Um, my phone number, everything's on there for agents or even personally, if somebody maybe wants to just reach out, get some advice, see what they need to do, that kind of thing. We're always available. And uh, yeah, I look forward to our next adventure together, Jeff. Yes, absolutely. Me too. Um, and if you, uh, I'd be very jealous, but if you want an adventure with Carrie and you have staging me, <laughs> Listen, this girl can pull off anything. So, you know, give her a call and she's going to make it happen. And, you know, now I just think, oh, I'll just call Carrie. She'll just deal with it. Right? Right? Right. Yeah. (laughs) So, like you said, that's what what I want. I want for people to be able to know that if they call me, that I will get it done. You know, one way or another, we will figure it out. Yeah, amazing. So you can reach Carrie on Instagram mm-hmm. at KP Staging and Design. And, um, and if you don't know how to reach her and you can't find her, go on my contacts and you'll find her. And yeah. for all of you watching, I so appreciate uh, you guys spending your evening with us. Absolutely. Uh, if you haven't met yet, my name is Jacqueline Watson and I'm a realtor with Sutton Group in Toronto. And um, yeah, give Carrie a call and give me a call too. What the hell? <laughs> call us both. <laughs> yeah, call us both. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you Anytime. so much. I appreciate you so much. Talk Thank you. Jacqueline. <laughs> I'll see you again.